our mission here is really to protect the wild animals that are out there, wild animals and wild places. The Gorongosa exhibit at Zoo Boise opened up in 2019, and it showcases a unique partnership between the Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique in East Africa and Zoo Boise. Gorongosa National Park was once considered the most biodiverse place on the planet. But then it was destroyed by decades of civil war and decades of revolutionary war. Across the globe, animals have suffered, especially in the last 30 years. According to a study in Our World Data by Hannah Ritchie and Max Roser, they found in 2015, wild animals made up 4% of the mammals on the planet, while humans made up 34% and domesticated mammals, 62%. We see more animals becoming endangered. Unfortunately, we may see a lot of animals become extinct. And that's one of the reasons why zoos like Zoo Boise are important. Every year for the last eight years, Zoo Boise has contributed $200,000 to Gorongosa National Park, who in 2008 began the Gorongosa Project to not only save animals and their habitat, but also help develop local villages. The, the animals are coming back in huge waves. It's amazing to see. and. The, hear the stories from the rangers there, to hear the stories from the, the tourism department there, to hear the stories about these, these girls clubs where these girls who would never have an opportunity to get education now, because of the Gorongosa National Park, they're able to get education, they're able to learn, they're able to learn to read and write. And, and it's amazing to hear those stories go back and forth and get the communication with the, the folks there at, in, in Mozambique. Even though Africa might seem like a world away, people here in Boise. What's your favorite can help Gorongosa by enjoying a fun day at the zoo. And so people here can come see the animals, learn about the people, learn about the conservation work happening across the world, but also support it because of their conservation fee that's built in with admission. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.